For all the new managers out there, I had made this joke at Remix that it's kind of like you become a new parent where like one day you're not a parent, the next day you are a parent. You've seen other parents before, but that's essentially the extent of the training you've ever got on parenting. And suddenly it's just like, holy crap, this is kind of an important job. And that's literally what happened to me as a sales leader. Like back in 2008, I went from B, B minus rep to running sales operations to, hey, Todd, you're VP of sales now. Like, yes. And then like two days later, I'm waking up feeling like a dog chasing a car down the street where I'm just completely out of control. Whatever direction the car is going is where I'm going. And like every so often I'm about to catch up to the car and then it takes off and it's like deal issue, personnel issue, board meeting, whatever. And so for everybody, I'm going to share something here that hopefully you guys can take notes on real quick. I call it the five F's of building revenue capacity, but essentially it's the five things that encompass your responsibility as a revenue leader. If you've got these five, you internalize these five, it becomes the agenda for your one-on-ones. So to address that issue, but it also is like, you've got a 30, 60 day, 90 day plan in your pocket at all times. And when the bullets start flying, you've always got this to fall back on. So for anybody who's watching, I'm pulling out the whiteboard, but I've already written this out for you, but here they five are. And again, internalize these and you'll be 98% ahead of the rest of the revenue leadership world, all right? All of your responsibilities as a revenue leader fall into these five categories. Number one is focus, meaning your responsibility as a leader is when your reps wake up in the morning, their most valuable asset that they can convert to revenue is their time. Are they spending their time on the right opportunities with the right people and the right prerequisites? That's number one. Number two is to the field organization. So building the team with the right tools and the right resources. Do you have that? Number three is to the fundamentals, meaning are they getting the right things right consistently? Their messaging, positioning, buyer journey, negotiating, presenting, demoing, all that stuff. Number four is to the forecast, meaning, yeah, as a revenue leader, you've got a responsibility to predict the future. So not only the forecast, but the, the KPIs, the things that you have to measure. And then number five, arguably the cheesiest, but without question, the most important, it's fun. And when I say fun, I'm not talking about cotton candy and lollipops. I'm talking about culture, building an environment where your team shows up, stays, does their best and becomes advocates for you. So to go back to the one-on-one -on -one question, I mean, for I know there's a couple of power reviews peeps on here, like Jim, I see out there. And you remember that our one-on-ones were all structured around the five Fs because so often we think our one-on-ones are about the forecast and the deals. But we've got to be talking about all of these things. And if you know me, we always have a shared Google Doc that we would establish the week before following our last one-on-one, -on -one, put the five Fs in there. During the week, if your reps or the individuals you're doing the one-on-ones with have important but not urgent things, pop them in the doc. All right, important but not urgent, meaning don't go interrupt, don't go slack them during the day because that's such a productivity killer. Throw it in. You do it, your rep does it. When you show up for the one-on-ones, this becomes your agenda. And we always started with fun, culture, you know, like Mason was talking about what motivates you, start there. And then we go through each one of these and we make sure we touch on them. Where are we spending our time? No science projects. How are we doing in terms of like, are you getting the resources? Are you using the tools the right way? How's the structure? How's the team that's supporting you? Let's talk through some of the fundamentals. Are there things that you need help with? Like, where do you like, here's the things I think you're doing great, but here's one opportunity I think you've got to really help yourself. And then, yes, let's talk about the forecast and the metrics and the KPIs. We take notes in the one on one doc when it's done, push it down, put a new 5S on the top, and start collecting for the week. You get control, you see the holes before, you, before they form, and you stop getting into that trap of only talking deals and forecasts during your one on ones.